A Norfolk doctor who is suing Centera Healthcare will return to work at the ICU this weekend. Dr. Paul Merrick wants to use ivermectin and other drugs to treat COVID-19 patients. But Centera recently banned ivermectin for COVID-19 treatment, citing national health organizations that say the drug could be unsafe and ineffective. Investigative reporter Evan Watson takes a deeper look at the case and its potential impacts. Centera says eight patients received ivermectin for COVID-19 treatment before the drug was banned last month. Dr. Merrick never prescribed it, but he's suing to be able to use it and other medications now. Our hero! Bless you, doctor. Dr. Paul Merrick teared up outside the Norfolk Courthouse Thursday, surrounded by a group of supporters. And what they're basically doing is telling me how to treat patients and what to use and what not to use. Dr. Merrick can recommend ivermectin and other drugs that are not endorsed by the hospital, but he can't prescribe ivermectin. A group of doctors at Centera recently changed hospital guidelines for COVID-19 treatment. National health organizations like the CDC and FDA say ivermectin and other drugs could be dangerous. Ivermectin is an antiparasitic drug with limited approved uses for people. The manufacturer of the drug, Merck, also does not support its use for COVID-19 patients. A Norfolk judge reviewing the lawsuit says he's not concerned with which treatments are appropriate for COVID-19. Instead, he's looking at legal standing, whether Dr. Merrick can override Centera's guidelines. A decision in the doctor's favor would likely be unprecedented. Yeah, I mean, the hospital and the pharmacist would have to agree. I mean, as it stands now, if I order ivermectin, the order will not be filled. A study that Dr. Merrick co-authored in a medical journal to support alternative COVID-19 treatments was recently retracted due to inaccurate data. In Norfolk, Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. The Norfolk judge said he wants to rule on the doctor's lawsuit and request for an injunction in the coming days. And we'll keep you updated.